Hello everyone, in this video we will be creating a new Word document. But first, we're going to delete this class, so I'm going to do a right click here and then click on delete. We could simply rename it and use it, but I just want to delete it in this case. And now we're going to add a new class, so we're going to do a right click on this package and then we're going to uh, hover over new and then click on class. The name of this class is going to be create word document. Click on finish. Inside this class, we're going to be adding our main method. So let's go ahead and do it. And here we are going to add our document variable. The document variable is going to be of the type xwpf document. So we're going to say here xwpf document document is going to be equal to new xwpf document. Now we need to define the directory where we're going to store the new word document that we're going to create. So what I'm going to do is copy this path, go back to Eclipse, and here I'm going to say string file path. This is going to be equal to this directory. And we also need to define the name of this new Word document. So I'm going to say this is my first Word document. And we also need to add the extension of this file. So this is going to be docx because this is a Word document. Now we're going to declare our output variable, which is of the file output stream type. So we're going to say here file output stream output this is going to be equal to new file output stream and this is going to take as a parameter a string variable which in this case is going to be the file path variable which contains the directory where we're going to store our word document uh, along with its name so let's go ahead and pass this variable here let's pass it in and now we need to decide whether we're going to handle this exception using try catch or whether we want to just throw the exception at the method level. So what I'm going to do in this case for this video is just throw the exception. Let's go ahead and click here. If you're not familiar with file output stream, Java file output stream is an output stream used for writing data to a file. That being said, here we're going to say document.write. Let's go ahead and type it in correctly. Document. We're going to use the write method. And here we're going to pass as a parameter the output variable. So let's go ahead and do that. And because this uh, throws an exception, we have two options. We can either handle it using a try catch or we can throw the exception. For this video, again, we're just going to throw the exception at the method declaration level. And now, because we're working with streams, we need to close it. We need to close this resource. So we're going to say here output dot close. And now I want to print a message in the console once the program has been completed successfully. We're going to say here is out and now uh, the Word document, we're going to say, has been created successfully. And now we're going to save the changes. Our program is ready, so let's go ahead and execute it by clicking on this button right here. As you can see, the program has been completed successfully. We have the message here, the Word document has been created successfully in the console. And if we go to this directory, we're going to be able to see the document we just created. This is my first Word document. Let's double click it to open it. And as you can see, this is our Word document. This is an empty document. That would be it for this video. See you next time.